So let's now move on to the discrete Fourier transform, so where everything is sampled. Discrete Fourier transform. So this means so time is sampled and frequency is sampled. So both are sampled. So let's write down the formulas for this. So the Fourier transform is now xk, so we've got an index for frequency here. And so on, this is running from n equals 0 to n minus 1, xn, and then e2 minus j 2 pi kn divided by n, and k is running from 0 to n minus 1. Yeah, so we've got n points here, and now the inverse Fourier transform here is 1 over n, so normalization from the 1 over 2 pi goes to 1 over n, and then this is running again from n, from 0 to n minus 1, and now we have got our now we've got our frequency variables here e two j two pi k n divided by n, and so again, so our samples running from zero to n minus one. So this is a discrete Fourier transform. So in this case, so k k is a frequency index. And this is here our sample index, our sample number. So we see again the Fourier transform works in the same way, but in this case here we have got a ratio of n divided by n, and capital N is the number of samples.